Uh, Derek Johnson, president of the NAACP, is with us now. We fixed some technical issues. I know we're a little tight on time, sir, but I do want to get your take on you know, what we're expecting out of Washington today um, as we look at the slimmed down version of the voting rights bill um, that isn't likely to pass. Joe Manchin had said he could bring 10 Republicans along. Doesn't seem that that happened. You've called the lack of urgency from the White House around voting rights appalling. Uh, do you think the administration, do you think Democrats dropped the ball here? I think the outcome would demonstrate whether or not the ball has been dropped. For African Americans, we must get legislation to protect our right to vote. It is imperative that the Senate leadership, members of the Senate, and the White House make this happen before the end of the year. Anything less will completely undermine the legacy of this president. What do you see as the path forward? The path forward is not allowing a procedural rule to stop the substantive protection of the right to vote. Uh, the filibuster rule was used in the 30s, 40s, 50s to impede progress. We cannot allow it to impede progress to uphold our democracy and protect our uh, Constitution today. Do you think that that message is getting through uh, not only uh, to lawmakers but to the president? Well, I think the president lawmakers have good intentions, but the outcome is what I'm looking for. It's not the intent. It's not the not the, the words, it is the outcome. And at, at, at this ninth hour, we are looking at states and jurisdictions across the country rejoin political boundary lines, redistricting the first time without the full protection of the Voting Rights Act since 1960. I'm more concerned about the outcome, not the statements, not the speeches, not the words, not the energy, but the outcome of voting right protections. In terms of that outcome, why do you think there has been this lack of urgency in your words? But many people want to hold to Senate tradi the traditions and protocols of the past. We're out of that now. There, there are no far partisan uh, realities in the Senate. You couldn't get 10 senators to establish a commission to investigate an insurrection on this nation. You will not get 10 senators to protect the rights of votes. So we have to move away from this concept of a far partisan reality and look at the hard facts. We must protect our democracy, our constitution, and the right to vote. That must be done through legislation. The Senate must do their job. The president must put pressure to make we sure will it be, happens. We will be watching for that, and we'll be checking in with you after. Derek Johnson, appreciate it. Thank you.